I can't help but point out this absolutely gorgeous gazebo. This is so well situated in a park in the middle of a town square. It's raised. There's a wonderful place for the audience. My mind just cannot help but think about what the speaker would be rehearsing prior to delivering his speech here. It, it has to be um, one of those things that's just extremely special in your life. Now, um, having a message, having a voice, being able to speak out um, it is part of being human. And um, we all have something to say. And what Paul had to say uh, in our devotional today was extremely important. Notice this. It says in Acts 26, 16 through 18, But rise and stand up upon thy feet. Go to the Gentiles, in whom now I send thee, to open the eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive the forgiveness of sins. This is so absolutely powerful. He's telling him to rise up and stand upon his feet. Well, He's got to rise up and stand upon his feet because he was kind of blinded by the light. And so when someone sees the light, they will begin to actually spiritually wake up. He thought he had it all together, but you spiritually wake up. And then you stand up and then you speak up. But that's usually after you studied up. And so this is exactly what we see that uh, Paul is rehearsing. This is exactly what we need to be doing today is that we need to realize that that light that has come into our life, if we're a child of God, that light that's come into our lives is a light that needs to illuminate us, that we become the light of the world and we study up, we stand up, and we speak up. If there ever was a time now is the time for the children of God to do just that. Make some assessments. Ask the Lord, is my life where it needs to be? Allow the light of his word to really kind of examine our lives to see what needs to get in, in line. Take those steps to do just that and then go out and proclaim the truths of the world. People are beginning to see there's quite a contrast between the dark and the light today. There's an evil that's over this land where before people were not receiving the truth, they're receiving the truth. Are you the messenger of the Lord? I hope so. May you go out, rise up, stand up, speak up from a position of someone that studied up. God bless you.